to a news alert right now, a police pursuit at 95. Well, we can see the suspect has bailed out of the car. Stay Stephen with. J. Gray above the scene to fill us in on what's happening. Stephen? Wow, we just had a, a wild chase here northbound on 95. A suspect is armed and very dangerous here. He looks like he had a wad of cash. Right now, he just uh, bailed out a crash northbound 95 where he meets up with the turnpike. He's very close to the toll plaza. We're staying with him at Sky Force right now. He's actually very close to a temple that's in this area that's usually occupied with kids this time of the morning. Right now, he's in the city of Miami Gardens. Jump up in a fence and uh, oh, kind of hung up on the fence there. Anyway, uh, he's got, looks like, appears to have a wad of cash or something in his hands. I can't tell what it is. He's putting it uh, money in his in his pants right now and some of it's dropping on the ground. We're staying with him with Sky Force right now. I don't think any officers are in the area here. Uh, if anybody's in this area, my gar Miami Gardens, we want you to use extreme, oh no, oh no, no, oh no. I hope he doesn't do anything to this lady. Oh, no, go go around, get around. This lady's running from him. Not good, not good. Ah, uh, you're under the garage here. We can't see what's going on here. This is happening live right now. Uh, allegedly an armed suspect that was dangerous uh, is now uh, running with money and he looked like he was gonna assault or possibly take something from that lady. He is right now running down the sidewalk eastbound. Can we get a street here? Let me see, I don't wanna leave this suspect, but we're, we're just uh, east of the turnpike, just south of the turnpike toll plaza. Uh, looks like this guy may have committed some type of robbery. See, he's got a big wad of cash in his hands. And, uh, hey, buddy, we're staying with you here. So uh, uh, if any police are in the area, we have any police? No police? No police. Watch it, watch. Go get in front of this house here. He's trying to get into this house of this residence. Unfortunately, this car is open. I, I can't give you an address at this time. But, guys, if you see our helicopter, please come back here. Uh, uh, east of where the car was. Oh, no, he's getting into this car right now. I don't know if there's keys in it or not. The lady that was here is, is gone. Hold on, I'm going to try to get you guys in the street. Uh, stand by. I don't have a street location here. Don't want to lose this guy. Oh, uh, he's dropping the money. Uh, right now, we're heading westbound back towards the turnpike. He's heading, he's running. I guess he's hearing uh, police officers here. Oh no, here's another lady. Lady, please get in your house. Anybody's here, get in your house, lock your doors. Once again, we're just east of the turnpike near the Golden Glades Toll Plaza. I wanna stay with this guy, don't wanna lose him. Uh, getting closer and closer to the turnpike. Oh, there's an off-duty city Miami officer, uh, 29264. Anybody know, knows who that officer is? Please get him out. You've got a, uh, a alleged armed suspect and dangerous suspect in your yard. Guys, if anybody's listening, officers, we are just very close to the Turnpike Toll Plaza here and uh, just east of it. If anybody can get over the wall, this uh, guy is a suspect you were looking for that allegedly was armed and very, very dangerous. Once again, traffic is stopped northbound on the ramp that takes you to the Turnpike in this area. Suspect is waving his hands. I don't know if he wants to give up or not, but uh, once again, he's just walking down the street. We don't have any, uh, you see any, Mark, you see any officers in the area? Police are chasing him. Okay. Oh, oh, police are coming. Oh, there we go. All right, we do have officers coming right now. I think this guy is going to surrender. There's an officer. He's got his gun drawn. This guy was smart. He would surrender. Good, good. He is down. It looks like this is finally coming to an end. Wow, this is crazy here this morning. You're looking at the end of a, a, a chase that started in the area of uh, Miami 79th Street and uh, 5th Avenue. The guy, uh, uh, for some reason or another, uh, we're not sure if there was a robbery involved. He had a lot of cash in his hand. Police were uh, saying allegedly this guy was armed and dangerous. Proceeded northbound to 95. We're going to stay with this for now. He wiped out his car approaching the Golden Glades Toll Plaza. And right now, officers are about to take him into custody. We have one officer on scene right now uh, with his gun drawn. And uh, hopefully this will end very, very peacefully. We don't want anybody to get hurt here. And Stephen, as we're watching all of this happen again, what happened leading up to this? How did the, uh, the police pursuit, how did all that start to unfold? We, we don't know how it unfolded. Uh, basically, we're covering that uh, stolen Road Ranger truck that smashed into a house in Hialeah. And we got called in that there was a chase going on. Our producer said there's a chase going on. And we, we just flew over here as quickly as possible in 7th Sky for us. We're first on scene. And uh, we don't know the charges on this guy. But uh, you see a, a large amount of cash was flying out of the car. And cash is all uh, all over the area that he was running in. Um, I, 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 what's going on here? Okay, more cars coming here. 
Uh, looks like a, a, a police disguise officer is waiting for a backup before he tries to take him. Uh, officers don't know what he does have or doesn't have. All right, looks like the officer is about to take him into custody. All right, he's got a handcuffed and he's about to take him in. Uh, this looks like this is over. Don't know the charges yet, guys, so why, why this guy is being taken in. Stephen, before we let you go, give us an idea of where we are right now. We are, let me show, now that this thing has come to an end, we'll show you, here's the Golden Glades uh, right here, Toll Plaza, and the, tur the Turnpike to Toll Plaza. Here's where the suspect is, just over the wall, and here is the car that he wiped out in, uh, right back up here. He smashed into the, the, the wall, and uh, there was money coming out everywhere. You got City Miami Police. I believe North Miami was the first agency that was pursuing this guy, so this guy may have been in North Miami first. But right now, here comes the Calvary. You're seeing a lot of officers arriving on scene right now. This guy uh, apparently was a driver. Did we see anybody else come out of this car, right? Oh, there was another suspect. All right, there was a passenger that uh, apparently was escorted out of this vehicle as well. And Stephen, from your vantage point, we noticed at one point this guy was running up to people in this neighborhood right off the uh, the road yeah. right there. Well, what's up with all that? I was really scared because I thought maybe he was going to do something to the lady, that uh, poor lady who was coming out of the house, probably going to work or whatever. And uh, she she kind of, you got it, you guys will have it on tape later, but uh, she freaked out. And uh, I, I'm sure he's probably asking for the keys to her car, and it almost looked like he wanted to get in houses. And then another lady was, you know, coming out, probably looking uh, to, to head out and do her thing or, or let the get out some fresh air. And he tried to get in her house as well, too. So very, very dangerous situation. Anytime we have these chases, some people want to see what's going on. But you never know. You don't want to be a part of something like this because when people are desperate, uh, people can do crazy things sometimes. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Stephen. And it certainly looked that way. He was after the keys. He, he even went back into the car afterwards and tried and checked to see if the keys were still in the car. And then at a certain point, Stephen, we saw him just walking around the neighborhood. Yeah, he was, uh, he had no clue. I think one thing that helped is, first of all, we were first on scene in 7th Sky Force. On 95, the police officers backed off. We stayed with them, and uh, hands down, if we were not in this area, it's a good chance this guy could have dipped in a tree or anywhere behind someone's house and would have been much harder to find this guy. So, uh, you know, this is a, a situation, I think, that has come to an end peacefully, and uh, hopefully uh, everybody's in custody, and hopefully nobody got hurt in this earlier robbery. And peacefully right now, Stephen, but we're looking at the video of just moments ago as you saw that suspect bail out of the car with what you said was that wad of cash. You see those bills kind of flying all over the place as he runs into that nearby neighborhood. And as we just said, going up to those neighbors, getting stuck on the fence right there for several moments before again continuing his run through that neighborhood. Yeah, and it really is a good thing, Stephen, that this did end the way it did because after this, we saw him and we've already talked about it. He actually approached a woman who was coming out of her car, and there's that video of that. Wow. You can see the way she reacts. Even though she doesn't know what's going on, she knows it's not a good thing, and she really does the right thing. She runs into her house. Fortunately, he is not able to hurt her if that would have been in her, his intention. And we think, I mean, just based on, obviously, he was trying to get away. He was trying to get her keys. He actually sure. later went back to the car and checked, wasn't able to do that. And then later, Jeff, we see him. He, he jogs for a while and then he starts walking around the neighborhood. Yeah, you hold your breath for a moment there as yeah. the camera leaves both Absolutely. of them. You can't and see you them know, under that carport. One, one thing I want to tell our listeners, if you ever have a situation where you are uh, robbed or in a situation like this where somebody wants to take something from you, give them your keys, give them your money. It's not worth your life. Your money's replaceable. The car is replaceable. It's just, a, it, you know, some people do crazy things sometimes. You just give it to them and go. Let them, let them take it. It's not worth being, uh, being part of this. Stephen, I have another question for you because initially when we were talking about this story, we were saying that he was armed. Now, other than the cash, did he appear to be armed when he was taken down? I didn't see a gun on him, to be quite honest, but uh, the police were saying he was armed and dangerous. That's the report we got. And while we were driving, what I didn't get to tell you guys is when we were driving northbound on 95, he was pointing at us in the helicopter like pointing at us look 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 so I don't know you know we were kind of scared for a second because we heard he was armed and dangerous and uh, it, you know we have had situations in other parts of the country where peace people have shot at uh, police and, and news helicopters so we were kind of backing off a little bit and I asked our pilot Mark to get on this side I want to see who's driving this car and uh, uh, we did not I didn't see a gun on him but uh, the police are saying armed and dangerous we're gonna take it as you know being so and Stephen, what are the uh, logistics on this one? What agencies are involved in, in terms of roads? Oh, Any closures right now? We got, okay, uh, Miami Gardens over here. 
Uh, we also have uh, Miami-Dade police. I see a lot of them. I originally heard this started in North Miami. I don't see any North Miami police on scene. Let's look at 95 here and see what we have. We have. I know we have City Miami that's all over this here. You see them with their, their uh, blue logo on their cars. And uh, yeah, it's City Miami all over the place here.